Okay, <clears throat> just a quick couple of minutes on this and the texturing of a um, uh, lot of this was done with Metasequoia. Um, obviously, the lettering and these bits were done in a 2D app. I'm using PSP. <coughs> This is on a 2048, I think, but all the sides are, are laid out separately so I don't get repetition on and things. So you can, uh, the top and bottom are the same. That's, uh, I think that's the only thing. Um, what I just wanted to focus on with this is uh, this paint splash. Um, now, I do quite a lot of painting with. Um, with this button that's in here um, <coughs> instead of just using the brushes you're a bit limited with a basically this one if you got a figure then you can use these kind of things so um, they're not much use but you can make your own so I got these off the internet this is uh, just a paint splash thing I got off the internet um, um, and that's in that's in paint and stain. So I think let's have a look. So you can load it there. Just choose a color. Um, there you go. That's exactly the same as. There's that by the looks of things, which looks quite good. And you can add bump to it as well. Um, got, got a little one out, it's so probably a bit high, about 0.5 really, if you're doing a bump mat with it. Um, and you can load multiple ones. Um, I've got kind of different levels I, I start off with, just general dirt and then other bits you might need on it. Um, and you can load them multiply and then save here. And I've saved it as GD1. You can load multiple ones at the same time. So, um, so yeah, I do a lot of texture in that way. So, yeah, there you go.